Okay, happy to see you here on my channel Hi Mathematics. Really interesting quick challenge today. X to the fourth minus nine equal to zero. On the first side, this like where is the equation? We have x, we have like one constant. It's not like a complicated, long complicated expression, and like a fraction with numerator, the numerator with tenth power. We have x to the fourth minus nine equal to zero. And how can we solve this question? There are two types of students. One type of students solve this question like that. They say, okay, from school we need, we will learn, we know that we need to regroup our variables on the left hand side are a constant on the right hand side. So we have like x to the fourth equal to equal to nine. We bring this to the right hand side and we have x equal to fourth power of nine, something something like that. Something like that. They solve this question like that. Maybe they put plus minus, something like that. They don't simplify this. This is the final answer for them. But I want to say this is very bad beginning. This is very bad solution in the beginning because we need to know about this fourth power. Because in math you should know that if we have fourth power we have no more than four roots. So right here you forget about two roots. Yeah? And we need to know how can we solve this correctly and we need to find all the roots right here. How can we do this? Uh, we have x to the fourth power. We can write this x to the fourth as x square to the to the second power. Okay, and this nine we can write as three square. Okay, really great. It's three square equal to equal to zero. And uh, what are we going to do next? Right here we have looks like this is our a x, x square equal to a, and this is our b for example. So we have the situation like a square minus b square. This is like a classic uh, classic formula. This is equal to a minus b times a plus b. This is like a school formula. Everyone should know this formula. This is like the most popular formula maybe in math. All the time I see this formula. So we have like x square minus 3. So we have like x square minus 3 according to this formula, identity formula, uh, times x square plus 3. x square plus 3. Okay? Uh, we factor it and equal to zero. And right now you should know that if we have a product equal to zero, then this one equal to zero, x square minus three equal to zero. So let's write it x square minus three equal to zero and x square plus three equal to zero. So x square plus three equal to equal to zero. So this one equal to zero or this one equal to zero. So this one x square minus three equal to zero, very simple equation. So we have x square equal to equal to three yeah, x square equal to three, and x equal to x equal to so x first and second. So right here hides our two roots equal to plus minus. Don't forget about it because we have square and square root of three. We take square root on both sides plus minus square root of three. So right here, as you can see, we find two roots, which is really great, and we know that right here hides another two roots. So we have x square equal to equal to minus three. So x equal to, but with really interesting moment for those who don't know about complex number, I want to say that this is a complex case, complex number case, because right here we have a positive x square equal to negative number, which is for most of you, which is absolutely impossible. So x equal to, so x third and fourth equal to plus minus square root of three i right here. Okay, this is, looks like this looks like our solution. And we have four roots, first one and the, the second pairs of, of roots. So first one plus minus square root of three, uh, first and second, and the third and fourth plus minus square root of three i, which is which is really good. So this is four roots, this one and this one. As you can see right here, maybe somehow you find these uh, two roots real in real number roots. You find it right here. We uh, but we don't find we we don't find complex roots. So this is complex numbers. This is real numbers. So with this solution, you will find real number roots. But this is not a common solution right here. You you should know this approach and we. We, we solve this. So I hope you learned something new in this video. I hope you understand my explanation and I wish you all the best in your adventures. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. If it's not hard to you, please leave a like, write any comment. It helps me a lot. It inspires me a lot to make new videos every day and it keeps my channel alive. Yeah, your support. It's, it's really great. Thank you and have a great day.